Hey, what's good, beautiful people? Welcome back again to our YouTube channel. Yeah, my name is Malik Sterling, and if this is your first time visiting our YouTube channel, it's not my channel at all. You watching my video, you're part of my, my channel. So, yeah, I say thank you so much. And if this is your first time watching, please kindly make sure to uh, click on that red notification button there, as I have a lot of information about people volunteering and all of that because I have experience, a lot of experience because I've volunteered. This is my third time volunteering, and I've worked in a lot of um, fields in the um, FIFA volunteer program, you know. So, yeah, any information I give you is solid and it's concrete. So, once again, my name is Malik Sterling, and I'm here. Let's get conversated. Yeah, so today I have um, a few. Hold on. I have a few updates for you. So, first of all, we're going to start from the shift. No, the release letter. Now, release letters are already out. So, um, some of them came as early as um, last two weeks, some of them also came around last week. And um, myself, I wanted to compare the release letter uh, that was sent last, last year during the FIFA Arab Cup to the release letters that we have right now. So they have a few things in common. So yeah, I'm just going to tell you um, what I'm going to talk about today. So first of all, the release letter, the shift selections, because shift selections are already out. I think not for all of us, as um, Clement, a friend of mine told me his shift selection on his portal is still not available yet. So he's still waiting. I think uh, he's a spectator service, service, yeah. So yeah, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about role specific training. We'll talk about venue training and we'll talk about uniform and accreditation. Yeah, uniform, uh, I've already made a review on the uniform. I've compared the uniform, the, this current uniform to the old uniform. So uh, it should be up here right now. If you want to watch it, you can go, go ahead and watch that one. So uh, before that, let's um, check this release letters. Yes. So this release letter right here is from, is also, oh, so this was also from Supreme Legacy um, Committee for Delivery and uh, what, what, what. So yeah, one thing that I like about this um, new release letters is that it's being directed to a particular person or a, a particular group of people. That is one thing I like. Unlike um, the old release letter, which was just about to whom it may concern. So you could... But they, they both have their advantages and disadvantages. Now, the advantage of this old one is that to whom it may concern. You, you can just give it to anyone. All right? And it was also signed by um, Hassan Al-Tawadi. This is the um, Secretary General of Supreme Committee. Yeah, so he was the one who signed it. I think this current one was also signed, signed by, by uh, Mr. Mr. Hassan as well. He has my name, Hassan. Yeah. So uh, this one wa um, was written and um, directed to um, a large number of people. You can just give it to your boss. You can give it to your manager, secretary, admin, anyone you want, you want to give it to, you can give it to them. Unlike the new one that we have right now. So this one, first of all, the heading has to be directed to the company. All right, and I think this is good. So, so um, your boss, your bosses will at least feel special that this let these letters are actually coming from FIFA. That is nice, right? For FIFA to ask for your company's name first of all, and also ask for your boss's name or whosoever that is in charge of you, your employer. Now, on the portal, there is no option that says you can edit these and release letters. So, um, for most of us that didn't know, we just directed this message to just one person being maybe our, 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 our coordinator or whosoever that we directed it to but then again it's a pdf file right so i was thinking maybe you can um convert it from a pdf file to 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 a word file like a microsoft word file so you can maybe change the name the signature and everything is still going to be there right Reason that you are writing this letter to you can just adjust and rewrite their names or put any other name that you would want to put or if not, and um, you've not already submitted this, then maybe you can um, you can put as many names as you want, you know. So if you want to put etc, uh, etc, or whatsoever, you can put as well. So that is the plan that I was able to come up with. Like, okay, so if you direct this email, if you direct this letter, release letter to just one person, and they ask you to go and prepare another one, which FIFA doesn't have that option yet, uh, you can just edit it. It's a it's a PDF file. I, and I hope I'm not breaking any rule here because uh, maybe FIFA might not want this PDF file to be edited. But then again, we move. We still we will still edit it. So uh, on the list again, we have shift selection. Now shift selections are already out. I saw mine I think two days ago, and um, 
I'm a bit confused because I still don't know my schedule at work. I don't know what time I'll be working. I don't know what time uh, I have for myself. And I don't know what time, uh, yeah, like I said, I don't know what time I have for myself to select my shift. So um, if you know the time or if you know your availabilities, then you can go ahead and select your shift. This, most of this information in this content might not be thought um, in your specific training or in your venue training. So uh, I, I will advise you to make sure to finish your e-learning. E and uh, if you have any questions or if you have any difficulties, you can just ask me. You can ask me and if I have time, yeah, of course I can assist you. So yeah, just like I said, the shift, know your timing before you select your shift. Minimum is eight. So if you want to select more, you can select more. And there are a lot of people who are asking. I know, I know a lot of international volunteers who want to stay. Like they don't want to do just 10 shifts because they are going to be over 60 games, right? So they, they don't just want to do 10 shifts. They want to do more shifts right so doing more shifts uh they tend to ask for more more shifts but trust me if you've never been a volunteer before i'm telling you this it's going to be tough especially working as a spectator service or working as a for ticketing department like for those people who who will be at a 10 star for um, people come and then but like okay no for those people who be at the 10 star people come and then you check their ticket you scan on the machine thing they just go inside thing you'll be you'll be you have a lot of pressure on you because just imagine if 10 families of 15 20 people are coming on you and you're not that kind of person who can handle pressure then this will be a lot of this will be a lot of stress on you so that is why sometimes it's good to have three four people people that you are uh you can work as a team you know, this volunteer work, you, you, you cannot be like, ah, I'm just myself. I know there are people who don't like people, if you, if you understand me. They don't like people. They, don't want to, they just want to work alone. And trust me, it, it wouldn't be that easy for you. If you want to succeed as a volunteer, you will have to work as a team. You will have to work as a team. I bet you, you will have to work as a team. So uh, if you have any difficulties, your, your colleague or your partner can help you and all of that. So with a shift selection, um, yeah, select them. And uh, if you want to select extra shift, extra shift will be available um, as the tournament goes on. Maybe I might not be able to show up for my shift. Someone might not be able to show up for their shift. Then this is the time uh, the door opens for you to select more shift. So um, on the list again, we have specific role training. I went for my specific role training on the 17th, which was um, last, last week, right? Last week, I went for my specific role training. And I was, it started from 6.30 to 9 p.m. Uh, a lot of information that I gathered from there, even though I couldn't ask a lot of questions because around that time, I didn't want to distract myself with the information that I was collecting. I wanted to listen more and then give, give out to you guys. So yeah, um, we went for the specific training as a fan festival operation. Yeah, that is the road that I got operation. And uh, we, were, we were taught a lot of things that will be going on on grounds during the fan festival. One thing that I like, that one thing that I liked so much was the fact that um, fans or parents, you know, when there's, um, in, there's, when there's an event like this where 40,000 people are attending and um, you can't, you also want to have fun. You might be having fun, your kids might be having fun and before you realize you can't find your kids. That is why now FIFA has introduced uh, this policy that um, when you're coming in, you're checking in from outside, like when, you, when you're when entering the fan zone area or when you're entering the FIFA fan festival area, there is, there's going to be a wristband that you, uh, the parent or the guardian will have to fill in the, the details of their children. So uh, they put the bands on. So um, at least when your kid gets lost or your child gets lost and they find them, they find the, um, the wristband on them, they can know, oh, this kid belongs to this family or this kid belongs to that family. And um, someone also asked a question that, uh, what if in a case where the wristband is torn or is distorted, is distorted, it is happening to me, is distorted and uh, is distorted and you can't find um, um, the parents, what do you do? And then uh, the lady who was teaching us said, ah, things like, they know things like this will definitely happen. So they have measures in place that will help them locate the, um, the families of these kids or, or of these children. So things like that are also going to be considered. And again, uh, uh, uniform and accreditation. Uniform and accreditation, I haven't gotten my uniform yet, but I can't wait to get my uniform. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I made a video about the uniforms, right? Well, that wasn't my uniform. It was, uh, it was for a brother. So I took it because I told you 
I was really eager to get a feeling of that uniform. And even though people um, were asking that, why didn't I tell in the video? Why didn't I say it in the video, um, the sizes of the uniform? But these are just regular sizes. They have um, um, small, that is S, they have small, they have medium, extra large, XXL, and, all of, and large as well. So you, uh, there's no need for you to worry about the sizes. Everyone can get their size, even if you are this, this big. Or you are this big, you will still get your size. So, and our accreditation also, I wanted to compare the old accreditation card to the new one, but since I haven't gotten my, since I haven't received my new accreditation card yet, I cannot do the comparison. But um, they are very much the same because I still have the same pictures. Like the profile picture is still the same, same name, nothing new, just um, maybe the logo or the design. Yeah, that's so. And now for the last one is um, venue, venue training. Now, people will be, might be asking, venue training, what do we do? So for last mile, now last mile, yeah, I know, I know, I know, today I'm going to talk about last mile. Now, what do last mile do? Last mile, they, they will be at the entrance to walk people in and to walk people out. This is what the last mile do. And um, I feel their job is, um, well, it's just like having uh, a placard or um, how should I say this? Like a board written like Metro is here. So they just have it like this, showing directions to the Metro, showing directions and helping people. Yeah, that is what last mile would do. So with the venue training, uh, since I'm working at Al Bidar Park, when my venue training is, uh, is available, we will we'll be walked to, to the venue and we'll be shown around, we'll be shown. Uh, now, the reason why they do this venue training is that you don't need to have doubts like, it's, it's also to build up your, your confidence and your, and, your, and your spirit, you know. At least people who will be working in the stadiums, uh, they will show you around, they will show you from floor to floor. I think the stadiums, you have uh, maximum like three floors. Yeah, so they will show you from floor to floor where you can find the masjid, that is the mosque, the cafeteria, the washrooms, the prayer rooms and everything. So that is the main reason why you do the venue training. And for me that I'm working at Al Bida, yes, we will be taken to, to the park and uh, we will be shown around, and for people who will be working as accreditation and all of that, you, you, it's just um, to show you what is, what is about to happen, you get me? So this, these are not just any, anything, anything um, that you will have to be scared of. And you know, volunteering is, is just like having fun, you know, having fun in a, in a professional way, having fun in a professional way, like learning how to talk to people, your, your mannerism, your everything, everything counts. Even, yeah, and last time the lady was like, even when things, things are creepy, just put on the best smile that you've got. Like, that is the best way to um, interact with people. It's also part of customer service. Yeah, so yeah, I think on this note, this will be the end of today's video. If you like this video, kindly make sure to subscribe. Oh, one more thing. Now, for international volunteers who have not received their role of us yet, I know I made a video um, that FIFA is still giving out role of us. And yeah, hold on. I will also talk about people who are on the waiting list. Goodness, how can I forget this? Yeah, so first of all, let's talk about international volunteers who are still on the pending list. Like uh, this lady friend of mine who received uh, a message that uh, she's, she's still being considered. She's a potential um, volunteer and uh, FIFA will get back to her. Now, after a week or two, FIFA sent a message again saying that uh, they are sorry, they cannot promise, blah, 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 and all of that. I wanted to show her email here but I think it's not appropriate it's not it's not um, that um, appropriate to show her information as well so yeah the next thing is um now someone asked that how long does it take for you to get off the waiting list I don't know honestly I don't know what F F I don't know what FIFA looks at now there's this lady friend of mine who signed up she signed up on the FIFA applic uh, FIFA volunteer program just like a week a week to the closing date you know they, they they closed the application so she signed up a week to the closing date and um she received a message i think um within a, a day or two or three days she received an email saying she's been added to the waiting list now she received this message and um after a week she was off the waiting list she already had a roll of her she went for training i'm like what is wrong with fever what do they look at like I honestly don't know because uh, there are a lot of people who applied and they are still on the waiting list. But even though those are and uh, those who are on the waiting list, just consider yourself to be a volunteer, not not a wait, uh, someone who is on the waiting list. Because 
uh, people who are on the waiting list are still going for their specific role training. They will still receive their accreditation and all of that. They will still even receive their uniform. So I think it's a plus for you. If FIFA wants to put you on the waiting list and give you all these things, give you uniform, give you accreditation, it's a plus for you. Just relax, chill until uh, you keep on checking your emails, keep on checking your your portals, your notifications, and I'll see if there is anything to um, dwell on, if there is anything to, you know, make you feel like you're part of it already. So, yeah, on this note, thank you for being part of today's video. I think I've done enough talking and uh, my throat is dry. I think I need to get some, some water. So, yeah, stay safe and uh, be yourself, love yourself more. And I can't wait to see you at the stadiums. Can't wait to see you in Qatar. If you see me here, yeah, holler me. Let's get interactive. I'm a very free-spirited guy. And uh, Yeah, don't forget to subscribe, please. Uh, tell your friend to tell another friend to um, subscribe to my Lex channel. And um, yeah, I love you all. See you.